First time feeling Puerto Rico air. It's wet, humid, hot. I like it. Gifts since we're not going to be here on your birthday. I'm going to give it to you right now. Is it? I like gifts. I ain't going to deny no gifts. <laughs> I hope it, it better. It better not be expensive. Don't tell me what it should not be. It better not should be expensive, be. man. Oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> For real? Yeah. Oh, shit. Nah, this is insane. Nah, I've been talking about this for a couple months now. It's been on my mind. I want to get a beat machine. Oh, thank you. Of course. Birthday. The reason I want to produce, first of all, y'all know I'm a music lover. I got a natural passion for it. It's something I'm working all the time as, you know, a barber and as being myself. I don't want to rip it. Ah, this is awesome. Damn, why damn they buy this? Ooh, bruh. I'm excited for this. I'm going to get us some placements with this. I'm going to deliver the beat to baby next time I come through. Good morning, YouTube. Uh, Vic and Katie went to San Antonio, Texas for Vic's birthday. But now I'm about to go to the airport and pick up Katie and then meet Vic. And we are about to take our trip to Puerto Rico. So stay tuned. Hi YouTube, just got to Atlanta airport, running off of three hours maybe of some plane sleep from last night. And we're about to head to Puerto Rico. We don't gotta record every coffee that we drink, Justin. We don't gotta do that, dog. Right, they seen up. enough coffee. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's get to the fun stuff. First time this has ever happened. Sitting again, coffee, a girl comes up and taps me. She said, Are you an island boy? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not the island boy. First real time in Puerto Rico. I was in Puerto Rico as an infant, really small. My dad is Puerto Rican, we got family over there, but couldn't remember it. So this is the first time going back since then, so I consider it my first time in Puerto Rico. Extremely excited. I'm trying to touch back in with my roots, man, that's it. We just landed in Puerto Rico. I already feel better, caught up on all my sleep. Ready to hit the island, turn up. No, I'm just kidding. Probably give out some free haircuts. Probably try to inspire some people. First time feeling Puerto Rico air. It's wet, <laughs> humid, hot. I like it. All right, hotel chicken line is taking a while, so we're on an empanada run in the meantime while we wait to get to the front of the line, so let's see what we can find. It's amazing. Are you ready? Want to rate this empanada? <laughs> 10. This is elite. Not bad for a work trip, my boy. Wow. My boy. First time stepping foot on the sand. This feels different, man. You know, we, we used to Myrtle Beach. Yeah. Same Myrtle Beach. Come on. Run with me, Jay. This feels different, bro. This don't feel like favor North Carolina. Oh, look at it, look at this. Just look, just look at this, man. Wow. The water is a little bit nippy. This is about as deep as I go in the ocean. I'm not a fan of the ocean, man. Humans ain't supposed to be in the ocean. We don't got no gills. Why? You ain't gonna see a shark walking around the streets of Atlanta. So why I'm about to go walk in somebody else's city right now? I'm asking to get hurt. All right, we just got done taking showers after hitting the beach. Not together. Not together, <laughs> separately. Uh, now we're about to go ahead and grab some dinner. Scott says he's got somebody for us to meet. We'll see who's there. 
first. It was the first label that, that you know, believe in me, so but it was the first and... That's good. I think that's a win-win for everybody, right? No, so, yeah. it was good. Oh, yeah, it's great. Send, send, him, I think, send these people, you know, to me to, to, to work and show to grow up and... Right? Like, to make La Fama. Yeah. 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 It's all. You know, it, it, it start with. Nah, little. it's better to, to start from the bottom with it, grow it, and make it y'all. Okay. Make it organic, make it real, make it. It's real. easy. It's easy to go on another, on another like you know somebody else's train and it's already moving, but like getting your train started. I think. That's the beauty of it, and it makes it, it makes it worth it, and it makes it worth it when it works. Cause you're like, fuck it, and we did that shit. Mansion, Matt Black, G wagons in Puerto Rico. What a time to be alive. Good to see you there. Good morning, YouTube. Don't sneak up on me next time like that. All right, today we're working with the Obama Foundation to work with some of the smaller cities in Puerto Rico, some of the at-risk youth. Uh, right now we're at a school that previously was abandoned but was picked up by the Obama Foundation now to support this community. And we're just trying to connect and inspire and hear about the culture and you know, see what we could do to help. In uh, those three days, mm -hmm. because we use this time to, como se dice, capacitar a los maestros, to train, 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 train the teachers and and see the the model again. And everybody is in in our other center in Caguas. Okay. Okay. But we are here for you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for thank you. thank you for coming from your vacation no, no, to no, school. No, no. Uh, uh, we are very happy. We got boxes for us to get translation okay. through the headphones. Okay. All right. So this is one of the first schools in the country that provides center for young kids you know like infants you know people that have going through teen pregnancy but that provides them a place to take care of the kid as well for them to still go to school which I think is amazing haven't seen it in the US first time in Puerto Rico seen it but I love it love it this is cosmetology and, and beauty room so they learn nails they're learning hair they're learning color this is the chair to use here first off Thank you, uh, thanks for having us here. It's really incredible to be able to see good work happening here. As he said, I'm a movie producer. Uh, spent the last 20 years making movies. And my life changed when I ended up going um, to a juvenile hall, which we call Juvenile Prison in Los Angeles. Met a bunch of uh, kids facing life sentences in prison. And so I started working in that juvenile hall while making movies. I then started hiring people coming out of incarceration onto our movies and into the unions. And they ended up getting into careers that were paying them over $100,000 a year. And it's through kind of both of those things, doing movies and telling stories, but also working with kids uh, in jail and prison, and also in the community trying to stop them from going to jail and prison, uh, that I was asked by President Obama uh, to be on the board of the Obama Foundation. I started seeing him on Instagram and TikTok, and uh, when I learned who he was and what he was doing, it really blew my mind. His whole passion is using barbering and what he's building uh, to be a voice for his generation and to inspire and to motivate. I've gotten to know him real well over the last couple of years and he's that guy, he's just a really good kid that really cares deeply. So at a young age, I, I started cutting hair in high school and it was supposed to be my side hustle. I was supposed to do it on the side uh, when I went to college but I, I really didn't know what I wanted to do as a career. I, I had no clue. My, my best friend knew he, he was going to college and I kind of felt like, man, I need to figure it out. All I knew was that I wanted to work hard. I wanted to do something with my hands and I was good at speaking with people. I always say that sometimes we're the right seed in the right soil, uh, but not the right sunlight or water. So for this plant to grow, it has to be in the right environment. And you could be the right seed, you could have all the right things about you, but sometimes you don't have the soil and the water to, to really grow. All right, we just wrapped up touring the school. It was a very inspiring experience. Uh, the school was previously shut down. It was not a school here before they closed it down, but all the people here worked together to try to open this up in this community. Uh, it's a community that has a lot of violence, a lot of gun violence, a lot of you know young people getting killed. So. For them to break through all of that and to see the power in community, see the power in, in learning and education, 
it was just humbling and, and, and very inspiring. Uh, extremely close to the beach. You can see the beach back there. So just to give you an idea of, of where it's at. Um, but they have, like I said, I think they had 142 students here. So it's not the biggest, but impact doesn't have to have a number next to it, right? Impact is impact, whether it's one or it's a million kids. If you can help somebody in your community, you're making a change and you're leaving a legacy. So that was inspiring to see. All right, I just got done speaking with Tyler Salud, which is a violence prevention group here. Uh, what they do is they intervene when there's a problem going on in the communities. It might be young kids that you know want to go at each other, whatever. They'll go and intervene immediately on deck, like they'll be hands on the ground, and they'll go ahead and protect the kids, keep them away from each other, and make sure nothing happens with that situation, which is extremely brave, extremely dangerous. But you got to commend that type of impact and that type of effort towards things like that. So. Very inspiring. All right, YouTube, day three in Puerto Rico. We're gonna go visit some juvenile prisons this morning. Uh, change of plans. I thought you ran into a little bit of some issues, but nonetheless, we're gonna make the most out of the day. <laughs> right now, we're switching hotels. About to go to Old San Juan, which is the historic part of San Juan, right? Yes. Historic, Old San Juan. Homie. Yep. Historic. All right, we're staying at Hotel El Convento. Never been here before, like I said, first time in Puerto Rico, but I am amazed so far at the layout of this hotel. I feel like I'm really at Old San Juan, so we're getting the experience we came for. The most impressive part to me is the cobblestone. I'm a big fan of the cobblestone. We are on the hunt for a coffee place that Scott remembers, so. Found it. Found it. Found it. Here we go. Look at this building. Wow. Wow. And then here is our coffee place for today. It's not what I expected to see, but this is crazy right here. All right, from the looks on the wall, any place that has to educate you on the coffee that they're making, it's probably going to be the best coffee of my life. I can just tell. I'm an energy guy and I feel it right now. My brother Lanai just picked us up in the G-Wagon. We're about to go ahead and hop on the boat for the day. Since the prison didn't work out today, we had to make some things happen, but we're gonna make the most of it like we said, and we're gonna visit some private islands, so let's do it. All right, the boy said they need me to open a Modelo. We have no tools, no bottle opener. Got this charger in my pocket. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Boy boat. <laughs> That's that little boy boat right there. <laughs> no, you're fucking with me, sketch, You're bro. fucking with me. Blue and black. It's a fucking sketch, bro. Blue and black. White and gold. Yes! Oh! Yes! Oh! Yes! Oh! Yes! <laughs> yes! Blue and black. Blue and black. No! Who says blue, blue and black? White and gold. Blue and black. Bro. That's not fucking blue and black. That's yeah. white and gold. That's blue and black. What, what color? Blue and black. Blue and black. What? It's a joke. Blue and black. Alright. Lunai said we have to try Nutella milkshake. So we saw a stand. We're gonna pull over and we're gonna give it a taste test. You guys take the first two. You take that one, you take that one. Wow. I'm gonna wait for Scott. We'll do a taste test at the same time. Okay, that's amazing. That's the best chocolate shake I've ever had in my life. Nutella. Word two. Nutella milkshake, word two. Best I've ever had. We got the sacred hotel room. We're gonna show y'all what that looks like. Wow, this looks sacred so far. God. Damn. Make sure you deadbolt. You gotta make sure you deadbolt these, these hotel rooms. All right, tour of the sacred hotel room. We got dining over here. This is an insane light fixture. I've never seen a light fixture like this in my life. Dining room table. Uh -oh. Window, look at this window, beautiful. All right, this is bedroom or oh, pull-out couch over here. I'm guessing this is bathroom. Shower. Oh, got a bathroom chair, the bathroom. Wow, it's nice. Oh my God. Shower. 
loading vanity connection to the other side. This is the, uh, the suite room. Here we got a front porch deck. Oh, there's the church from earlier. In front of the uh, the church. church. Is that earlier? Right on the streets of Old San Juan. Tile floor is the best part. Hey, one thing about Puerto Rico, they love AC out here. It is cold everywhere. Every car we've gotten into, every room we stepped into, blasting the AC. All right, y'all, that's gonna wrap up the tour of the sacred hotel room in Old San Juan. All right, YouTube, so it's our last day in Puerto Rico. We ran into a small bump of the road in the last couple of days. As you can see, Scott had tracked down the Secretary of Corrections uh, for the governor of Puerto Rico. We were able to communicate with them, explain what happened, and we got cleared today to visit the correction facility of Ponce, of Juvenile, the Juvenile Correction Facility of Ponce. So we fly around two o'clock. Right now it's 8.30. We're about 10 minutes away from the, uh, the prison. And we're gonna go in there, speak with some kids, check out what they have going on, see what the, uh, the facility's like, and hopefully we can find a way to make a change. So we can't bring cameras in there. We're gonna leave everything in the car. But wanted to give you guys just an update on how we were able to make this happen, what we had to do to, in order to get here. And um, hopefully, you know, we can inspire some of you guys. So. We will see you guys after we get out. All right, we had the best time of our lives in Puerto Rico. By far, my favorite place I've traveled to, yet to be top. We'll see if anywhere it can top it, but shout out to Puerto Rico and all the people that showed us love while we were out there. Island is beautiful. We'll be back real soon, and I'll see y'all until next time, man.